like share and subscribe for more great content like this. High meats are just meats that are allowed to age naturally while sealed off from air. This basically is fermentation of meat in the same way you would ferment cheese as cheese is just rotten milk. This fermentation process of meats allows it to create additional bacteria. The benefits of the extra bacteria from high meat include better digestion and increased concentration, energy levels and improvement in mood. These benefits are similar to the benefits you get from taking probiotics although, many people who swear by high meat believe that the benefits, effects of high meat still far outweigh those found in expensive probiotics. Today we will teach you how to prepare your very own high meat, quickly, safely and cost-effectively. First get hold of a properly sealable container, e.g., vacuum jar, sealable plastic box, bell jar etc. Fill half of the box with the raw meats you want to age, make sure to leave 50% of the box unfilled, so as to ensure that there is enough air, oxygen for the bacteria, it's a very bad idea not to leave enough fresh air for the bacteria to work on. Then place the high meat container in the fridge. Make sure to take the container out and air the box outside, at least once every 1-3 to three days for a few minutes, depending on your whim, properly airing the meats outside helps to refresh the air within the box, allowing the bacteria to continue their work, and the more frequently you air it, the faster it ripens, don't air it inside the house as that will stink out the place. Oh, and don't forget to cut up the fresh, raw meats into mouthful-sized pieces before you start using it for high meat, otherwise, it's a rather messy business to cut it all up once it's reached the high meat stage, though, I suppose, one can wait, instead, until it eventually becomes liquid, where one just needs a spoon. Generally speaking, if the fridge is not at too cold a setting, and if the high meat container is aired frequently, then it's usually recommended to wait c.1 month before trying it. I find that I get the beneficial effects from the high meat within c.2 to 3 weeks after storing it, usually once the outer surface of the aged, raw meats has become slimy enough, but with the rest of the meat still being quite solid enough to be picked up by a fork, I generally don't like the texture of high meat once it becomes too liquidity. Though, there are some who prefer aging the high meat for several months. A few people wish to speed up the process by storing the high meat container outside the fridge in the open air, but this is fraught with difficulty as flies are fiendishly clever at laying their almost unnoticeable eggs around the lid, and these can then so easily drop in. It's been suggested by one member of the group that the container in question should be sealed within two separate black bin bags so as to deter the flies. Plus, when I left high meat outside, it seemed more likely to go dry, and dried out high meat is useless re-getting the boosts in mood etc. I should also mention that I personally only got the fullest benefit from high meat once I started eating c. 2 cubic inch size chunks of high meat each day, and that the effects, oddly, seem to only start being noticed after c.12 to 24 hours. Obviously, though, everyone is different in this regard. High meat can be made from pretty much any raw animal food source. The Eskimos used to age raw fish in this way, the Chinese would age their raw eggs for decades, the French often age their raw cheeses until they become very stinky etc. I personally found most high meats versions to be a problem for me, especially any high meat, muscle meats, with the exception of aged kidney, aged tongue, and especially aged ox beef heart, I use the latter most of the time, for reasons of taste and convenience. I would strongly recommend that people experiment with a wide variety of high meats before they find the one that is least appalling retaste. Virtually everyone finds high meat a problem at first, retaste, due to past conditioning. My own solution, at the start, was to cut the meats up into very tiny slivers so that I could just swallow them very quickly without having to endure the taste for long. I'd then follow up each mouthful with a big gulp of alkaline, spring, mineral water in order to blot out the aftertaste. Naturally, over a certain length of time, I got used to the taste and no longer need to cut up the meat into such tiny slices or chase each piece with water, and, nowadays, I even relish the rather acidic taste of some kinds of high meat, viewing it as a useful alternative to smelly raw cheeses I happen to be allergic to raw dairy. Naturally, there are always going to be some who feel they won't ever be able to get used to such fare, so I would strongly recommend that such people buy M products, instead, or powerful probiotic supplements. M stands for effective microorganisms. However, I'm skeptical re the efficacy of the latter two, by comparison to high meat and view them as substitutes only, besides, M products are rather expensive and difficult to prepare, whereas high meat is relatively easy to make.